Because yeah, so I don't yeah. remember uh, being a, making a contribution, but I remember, I think I was uh, more of just on the listening panel. But then- Yeah, so, was, yeah, so the, the, the topic was more or less around content creation in Kenya. I think it came off the back of, um, I think it was that story of uh, Vera Sedika, uh, which was saying that uh, she now has no diabs. <laughs> People were realizing you know, how can she lose her diabs, and that's her main selling selling mm-hmm. asset. And then only to later on realize that all that was just a sense of cloud chasing to help her promote yeah. her into a music career. And and we've seen a lot of this cloud sort of chasing where. A lot of these content creators are, uh, you know, hell bound on just doing the most craziest of things just to attract eyeballs, whatever it may be. It might be this gentleman called Eric Omondi, whom we now call Erica Amondi. Erica, to avoid, to avoid has, legal issues. Yes. Mm-hmm. So Erica Amondi has now just decided to be you know, to, to take this womanly kind of, and, and I mean, it's a lot of it. We see a lot of this content creators just doing some crazy skits. And I do understand sometimes as an artist, you have to ruffle, sort of go against the, 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 the against the status quo in a sense, but it, it seems to be the most um, sensational kind of behavior that they, adopt or go after to become cloud chasers. So we are asking ourselves, what's the state of content creation in Kenya? And how can we sort of go beyond? Actually, I want this to be my topic of discussion during the Friday forum, to go beyond being sensationalist to actually creating real businesses. And then there's also that aspect of where many of them um, are so beholden to the corporate organizations that uh, fund them by way of the advertisements that they place uh, in their skits. So give me a sense of what you feel of content creation in Kenya, um, where we are probably doing it wrong um, and where we are also probably doing it right. And if there are any examples of those that are doing it right, and, and also a sense of how can this become not a cloud chasing venture, but a real sort of transformative uh, venture, you know, that has both the comedy, the jokes, good performance, but also it is also beyond just the entertainment, it is also building. Because entertainment, I guess, is important. But you see, content creation, for one, when, when you look at it, the content creation as a, as a concept, is something that was meant to circumvent the headache of appearing in, uh, in a screen. Mm-hmm. A few years ago, appearing on a screen, you had to be not just talented, you needed connections. Mm. So a screen will mean uh, the form on a TV or TV on a channel yeah. or radio station. Exactly. So the mainstream, sort of mainstream. Uh, yes. Media. Yes. Mm-hmm. So before then, you needed a combination of real talent and uh, connections. And there's many situations whereby the talent was there, but connections were missing. And so many talented people just wasted away because that lack of that connection. Content creation enables you to simply need a recording device and a YouTube and a computer, the, the internet and you are done. Now, you normally say in, in some, like somebody who grew up in Mombasa, used to say, kwenye msafara wa mamba, apakosi burukenge. Where there's a profession, there's a procession of crocodiles. You'll also find a monta lizard there, pretending to be part of the, of the proceedings. 
And you know very well this is not a crocodile, this is a lizard. So we normally say with the good comes the bad. If I'm to focus on uh, on uh, maybe out uh, uh, content creators outside Kenya, like for me, one of my interests is electric mobility. There's a channel called Fully Charged, very informative. There's another channel called uh, Mentor Pilot. I'm not a pilot, but that channel has made me develop some major interests in just aviation. And the best episode is when this guy was answering this question, can an untrained person take over the controls of a jet liner when the pilot is incapacitated? And he did so from a safety of us. There's a flight simulator which was showcasing everything. There's another channel, but it's long since I used it. It trains people on how to design vehicles. It's called Sketch Monkey. So these are contents that have a particular purpose. So back in Kenya, if you are to start a, a channel, what is the purpose behind it? Yes, entertainment is good. We can do the entertainment on any day, but we are at a point where we must embrace problem solving from every aspect. That aspect of solving a particular problem has to be there, especially in this day and age where you know getting expertise is a headache. But you can come with a bit of knowledge, I can come with a bit of knowledge, we band it together and something positive comes out. So the main determinant of the usefulness of a channel is by the time that channel comes to an end, that navigational bar closes and maybe you, you click X to close the window, you ask yourself, what have I gained here? That will now determine the value of this channel. If there's any content out there that even if it doesn't have to be long, uh, this guy, mentor pilot, his content is normally 40, 45 minutes, fully charged at most 30 minutes, sketch monkey, six minutes. So it's not really a matter of volume. You have a five minute content. When that session comes to an end, ask yourself, is there a change in my mentality? Is there a change in my thinking? Is there some displace, displacement in how I reason? Positive displace, not negative, by the way. So those are the things we look at. So before you take that recording device and start making records and you start doing whatever you're doing, ask yourself, when viewers get this, when this thing ends, what is you the most important thing in life is how you reason and how you perceive things. Will there be change in people's perceptions on any topic? Usually it's not much, okay, as much as um, I lean very much on technology, but there are quite a number of topics that you can brush on, can touch on. Is there any change in perception? Like what you are doing here, uh, you know the spaces are limited for Andrew Kibes, up to three hours. And you can only have a certain number of people on the speaker, on the speaker channel from listener to speaker, it's limited. But what we are here, we are actually digging deeper in issues that may not have been discussed at that point. Also on the, what you call on the comment section, we are giving opportunities for people to key in on any matters that they could not uh, comment at that particular time because this, this is a YouTube session. Anytime somebody can come in, put in their comment, you'll see it in the notific notification, you can engage them, and if possible, you can have them in the next session. So you are providing some sort of uh, uh, active feedback on the Andrew Kibbe spaces. So this is, this is what you are doing. This is what this channel is all about. So if you have a content or a channel that nobody can, clearly point on what this channel is all about, the channel literally becomes useless. And as much as we, we talk of entertainment, entertainment is okay, but you see, you can get entertainment from anywhere. So if you are thinking of starting a, an entertainment channel, what is so good about that channel that is better than the other channels that are here, uh, currently the ones that we have normal. In fact, if you want humor, if you type humor in YouTube, you can get a variety of, of uh, entertainment from literally every part of the world. But if you are looking for something that is tailor-made 
to the issues that you are facing as a republic, you have to you have to look at a very big. Uh, you have to look, to have a very long sit down with yourself, and ask yourself what am I offering to my fellow Kenyans. So that is the issue. I doubt. I look. Okay, I want to say that I doubt if we are really questioning ourselves before you launch a channel. Somebody will. Uh, say will, uh, you'll see someone talking something, then after that they'll introduce some sort of real estate advertisement. The, I find that to be quite bland. If I want real estate, I'll Google real estate in Kenya, walk into an office somewhere and do my thing. So for you to appear on a screen whereby you're reaching to a very large audience, I would prefer, again, speaking as an expert, I would prefer reach out something, a real issue that people are facing. That is our look at it. What what is the impact of your space? That is my my take on that. Your take on it, and and I do agree. I, I mean, uh, maybe what I could add on that is, uh, you know, advertisement is not bad, um, and there's a reason why corporates now are using, you know, your typical content creators to advertise through them as opposed to using the mainstream channels because you know actually much of viewership and uh, listenership on uh, the formal uh, tv channels and radio station is actually plummeting and people are gravitating more to this sort of authentic sort of down to earth almost very relatable content gener generated by content creators as you said you know, before you had to have connections with, with some big shots to be, be placed on TV. But, but now, you know, those barriers have been brought down by social media and the internet and, and how it has sort of democratized um, access and, and, and being able to now give your own voice. So um, I feel, yeah, we definitely need to move away from just cloud chasing and provide you know authentic content. Uh, it can be entertainment in some regard. You know, if, if you think of uh, Kibe's space, it's, it's, it's highly entertaining. Very Together entertaining. The YouTube channel, very entertaining. But, but, but then again, but then again, yeah. we know what it's all about. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, in in it, he has also he, he will plug in some gems that you can take away, but yes. he's been able to to, to be able to provide. The comedy and also mm. very highly productive content uh, yeah. baked into it. Um, sometimes it might just be pure comedy, but it's it should be sort of uh, comedy yeah, or see, entertainment, entertainment yeah, yeah. for the sake of entertainment. But I think probably where it goes too low is where people end up just generating some very sensational. Uh, I don't know what time to use. Should I say classless um, content to just attract eyeballs? It's like and, saying, and also because, in it is, is it is baked with a lot of lies, yeah, and lies like that saying, are quite blatant. So, like, yeah, it's like saying, entertainment mm -hmm. is the cream, the message is the cake, but uh -huh. now we have no cake and a very huge quantity of cream. Cream is sweet. It's okay. I have no problem with cream, but what is it? And there are some sessions where uh, the 10 o'clock uh, Andrew Kibe YouTube show, there are sessions where it is pure comedy. Yes. Which, which at his level, at his level is allowed because he already has a name in matters uplifting masculinity. Yes. Such that we are at a point where if I wanted an issue uh, concerning uh, masculinity or improving myself, all I need to do is type Andrew Kibe. Mm. And I know among those options, I'll pick something. Mm. So he has achieved that level where he has flexibility. The same way uh, when we have this, like in school, these teachers who are so good in terms of delivering, one mm. afternoon they can say, ah, let's have a joke cracking session. Exactly. Because he's an alpha and he knows what he has done. So that aspect of uh, some of Kibe's 
uh, sessions, we are being pure chemical comedy. He has earned that that level because the name is there, the trends are there, so he has actually earned it. But if you are on the on the rise, you are looking to create for yourself a niche in what you are all about, and you begin with just comedy, comedy, comedy. Just as I will just take you just another comedian. Yeah. And comedians. So that, yeah. You know, if that's your niche, that's your niche. And it's just yeah, then fine. if it's comedy, uh, then I say we'll put you as comedy. But yeah. then again, remember, uh, somehow when you look at people like uh, Dave Chappelle, mm. he's a comedian, but he actually tackles key issues. Mm, societal issues, yes. Yeah. So we are actually at a point where that raw comedy is not so, not so much. That's why right now, if you are to be able like Mr. Bean, nobody will take you seriously. If you are always recording yourself performing antiques and funny, funny stuff, clowning around, it is very difficult for people to take you seriously. So yes. But, but, yep. but uh, Brian, would you not agree that, let's say if it's a Mr. Bean, Mm. You know, there are sometimes you tune on to a to a to a to a program or a show. Mm. Mm. You're not necessarily looking to gain anything. Yes. Useful message. You know. You know. You're there. Yes. For the comedy of it, which is not bad, and we actually not. I believe you're not castigating those that you're not are really gone. You're not saying um, no to comedic. Uh, yes. Comedic uh, relief. Yes. But we are saying. If you really, uh, because for one, uh, by the way, comedy is very competitive. By the mm. way, if you're yes. saying now we are going to comedy, you need to be extremely serious. Mm. Comedy is superbly competitive. If yes. you have to be on a global scale. So that is that. But then again, I tend to think you will carry more value if you have some some message, something that we can easily identify with. But then again, if you want to go into comedy so that we identify you with something funny, no problem. Please do. Mm. Please do. Uh, and, and I and think then, probably probably where our content direct, uh, content creators are going it wrong is it's sort of so we understand sometimes you can market and promote certain products, services of the people that have sponsored you which is also fine uh but some i think i've taken it to a point where they even sort of end up showing people a very fake life which is yeah. not what they live so so there's a there's a lot of fakeness and lies um there's a lot of that sensationalism that is baked in there um all for purposes of cloud chasing but in reality, you know, people come to realize. So the, 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 when people come to realize the truth, then you're actually almost losing a lot of your subscribers and viewership. So I think the word should be authentic, authentic, uh, either productive or entertaining content that is not so much, because uh, some of them, they have also been bought and they they don't have sort of a uh, they they don't have a, an understanding of themselves. For them, it's just any advertiser or corporate person who will come along, they take them through. And also, so it's, it's also coming from a point of a, a lack mentality, a scarcity mentality. They just take anything. So you don't know what they are about. What are they yes, really that, about? That's what I was so, coming to. You don't have yeah. an image. What 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 is your identify? What is your identifier? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Because let's Thanks. say you're going to be, let's say you are, you have some humor and some advert. Then mm -hmm. you will look more professional if we know that any issue concerning real estate, I'll go to Andrew's channel. Mm -hmm. At least you've created a certain niche that this, I am now humor plus real estate. I'm going hard on that. There's an aspect mm. of identification with you. There's an, this, there's an identification. Yeah. Yeah. Not this yeah. anything and I, goes. And again, anything because goes. you're building a platform, sometimes you can advertise various products, but mm. some sometimes you find people you know, selling the most <laughs> ridiculous things. For yeah. them, it's the money. The money is just the end goal. So mm. if you want to even sell... Uh, 
dildos on your program, you'll be happily be able to sell that. And, and you know, you, you have no ethics around yeah. who you are. Uh, you just accept anything. The, the, the end of it is, is what is, is the money. So anyway, we, we, we hope we'll grow out of this. Uh, it's still a very young industry. Um, and hopefully that credible content creators, like I look, I don't know what examples you have from local examples, um, and not to mention Andrew Kibe, but I look at people like uh, Abel Mutua. Um, I look at people like, uh, can I other say, that I feel is, is also an authentic. And you notice these people don't even have advertisements on yeah. their channels. And they're actually profitable. They're making money. But yeah. others that have just decided, okay, all we want is the numbers. And we'll get yeah. those numbers in whichever way possible. If it is for some guy to dress up like a woman, they would do that. And they would do the most audacious of things just for that number. So one of the more credible ones that I think of is Abel Mutu. I don't know if you have any examples from your side that you could mention of local content creators doing it the right way. Actually, beyond Andrew Kibe, I can't really think of anyone. <laughs> you are even struggling to mention someone. <laughs> yeah, I was struggling to find one. I think that's that's probably one of the few. Uh, the, the, the best way, we can, the, the, let, let us just be positive about this issue. And we call yeah. it uh, teething, teething moments. Teeth in the uh, moment yeah. that you're going through. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I think we'll, we'll leave it at that. Because it's, it's unfair to be so negative on people. Uh, yet let us just be, be upbeat and hope that it is something that will, uh, what, what, what do we call it? it there, there is an industry that will mature. That's what it is. Mature on its own. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Mm. Yeah, I agree. And uh, definitely, it's very young. It's, you know, the internet is also young, so we are learning this on the go.